Well, hello there, folks. It is I, Big D, in response to Alan J. Pax and everything A. Pax's video where he's going ape. Okay, now we got to make, he was talking about my math that doesn't add up. So let's just do the math. Let's just do the math, shall we? I have a paid for van. I paid 10 grand for it. It's paid for. So each month going out, I don't have $150 roughly a week. It's 140 something on him. 150 is a nice number because it becomes $600. Also don't have around six hundred dollars worth of insurance. That's twelve hundred dollars. My cost per month on those two items is one hundred. So there's eleven hundred dollars there per month. He pays more going out of the gate, which is thirteen thousand two hundred a year. Okay. Now my income is fixed unless something gets added to it. So right now I went over the numbers. Uh, he has it. It was like a hundred and two. 1500 I think it was, 1025 And I am getting weekends off, and there's uh, 52 weeks in a year, and I get 52 weekends off, so that's 104 days. So that's over three months a year I get off just on weekends because I'm not working. I could make more money, but I don't. I'm not in service. So that, him and I equal out about that. He's getting 80-something, I'm getting 102 guaranteed. It's, it equals out. So the time off is about the same. This is how I came up with these numbers. Okay. What I make each day is guaranteed. I'm not sitting there waiting for a job or anything of that nature. I did expediting. I'm not, I don't sit maybe a day or two and get moving. It, you know, it won't slow down in the winter. It keeps moving. It just goes. There's not a slow time. It's guaranteed. It goes. So at what I make per week, which is like around 900 or 1975 I'm just going to round it to a couple dollars to make an easy number. Number That comes up to that 52 yeah. weeks a year. Hold on. I'm making a video, Mary. Oh, I was going to beat you up. I was waiting for you to come in. Okay. So that... Do you want to see him get fed? No, I'm busy. Oh, Wife wanted me to see the dogs getting fed. They get steak. <laughs> but 1975 times 52 comes up to the yearly income of around 102500 now, I spend $150 a week on gas. Now, that can go up if gas prices go up, which brings my profit down. But then again, same thing for him. <laughs> it's, 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 an equa it's, an, it's an equation. Except I'm spending and buying less gas. I get better gas mileage because I got a small van. I can drive the car and get 30 something miles to the gallon and do this, which I do sometimes. So the gas to me is going to be roughly $150. A week. Okay. Which comes up to around 7,800. I'm just going to make it 8,000. It's going to run me 8,000 in gas. I just rounded it up, giving an extra 200 bucks in gas. Whereas if you're expediting, doing 10,000 a month, and you're getting uh, 20 miles to the gallon, uh, 19, but let's say 20, it's 500 gallons. You're burning uh, at around 250. It's $1,200. So he's already out $600 more in gas than I am, if not more. So if you take that, that's another $7,200 on the 13.2 that uh, I'm already saving. So right there is oh, four, ten, twenty thousand four hundred dollars $20,400. This is not funny math. This is just basic math. He's got a full-size transit carrying 3,000 pounds in it. I got a minivan sitting out there with a four-cylinder in it <laughs> that I'm carrying 50 pounds at best. I mean, come on, figure it out. <laughs> you know, it's going to get better gas mileage. So 20400 And I'm not trying to snoozle people over. I'm just giving you basic numbers of my operating cost. Now, if I blow a motor in that thing, it'll cost me $1,500 to replace. But you blow a motor on those transits, it's going to cost you... Well, I'll put a used one in probably six to seven thousand, because I'm just going to drop a used one in at twenty thousand miles on it. Go on, it's a used van. I don't care. I get another two, three years out of it. Drop another one in and go. The cost to repair these little small vans are a lot cheaper to repair the big ones. Just common sense. A brake job for my van is cheap. I'm not spending one hundred and fifty dollars a tire. I spend half of it, eighty. Well, it's almost half. But uh, you get the point. Maintenance on it. Now, I'm saying expediting 
and courier driver are not the same thing. My point is you can make good money in either field. It's just that, you know, if you want to be home every night, this is how you do it. But the numbers I give, you're correct. I mean, just, you know, you got, you saw the washout. I didn't take my best week. That was one of the worst weeks. You see, that was the week I had a couple days off for Christmas. But based on those numbers, 125, if I take off a couple weeks for vacation, of course, I'll lose a couple weeks, which I probably will do. So if I take off two weeks, the 1025 will become, let's take 4,000 off of that, 98.5, okay? And my expenses are still, I'm still at 88.5, and he was roughly at 70. I'm still $18,000 ahead. It's called math. And I'm already getting over, I'm at 52 weeks at two days off each weekend. 104 days off, not 84. So I'm already getting those days. And when you work those into your vacation time, you can, you know, I'll still take the two because I just like to. So I'm looking at buying an RV. I'm going to pay cash for it. I'm making it so I can do it. But, you know, it, it is what it is, folks. Math is math. Now, I know Alan's going to go apeshit when he sees it. <laughs> but it's math. I mean, you know, he keeps in his number. I'll be more than happy to show my W-2 at the end of the year. We can do it together. How's that? But I will give you receipts to show you my gas six months. I don't even keep them anymore. Why bother? It's the same. I mean, you know, I'm only doing a little over 200 miles a day driving. I mean, come on. You know, I, you know if I'm doing, hell, let's just say I drive 1,500 miles a week. That's a bad week for him, but for me, it doesn't matter. I'm still making my money. And I'm home at noon, Monday through Thursday, and I'm, you know, 7 o'clock on Fridays, but, you know, got to get one late day in there a week. Anybody in Korean knows that, and you've got people on here doing routes. I mean, there's a guy out there making 2500 a week. Every week. That's 10000 a month, one hundred twenty grand a year. He can subtract his gas, his insurance, throw some maintenance in for his vehicle, and come up with a rough idea what his yearly income. It's a projection. I mean, anything can change. I mean, I could total the van. I have to go buy another one. Of course, it'd be insured. But, I mean, anything can change. But so can it in expediting. I mean, I blew a motor. I, uh, hubs went out. Shocks went out. I mean, shocks on this thing went out. They were in my house three days later. I'd have to wait two weeks for them. Math is math. And unfortunately, I am making more. And it drives him nuts, doesn't it? <laughs> Until later, Alan, I will run my numbers right along yours any day of the week. <laughs> you have a good one.